VCL styles allow you to change every aspect of your application at runtime in terms of the appearance. So I'm going to open a sample project here. And it doesn't matter if you have a look in C++ or Object Pascal, but under Data, if you go to IBX, IB Master App, we can open up the Marine Ventures sample. Now this sample has been updated to include VCL styles. So I'm just going to run this here. We'll have a look at it initially and then we'll dive into how it works. So here's just a simple uh, form. I'm going to open up a couple of addition forms here. And under styles, we just have Windows style defined at the moment. So let's go ahead and under the project options, under appearance, add in a few additional styles. So I'm just going to pick a, a few at random here. Now you can define in there which is going to be your default style, but what this is going to do it now at runtime, if we have a look in the form create, we're using the tstyle manager. Now the tstyle manager has a style names which is an array of string which you can loop through. And here we're just going to create a menu item for each one of those strings and add uh, an on click event. Now we're also using the style manager to check the active style name and if that's the same as the current style we're going to just say that item is selected. Now the style click event again uh, we're just taking the name out of the menu and removing any shortcut keys that have been added automatically by Windows. And then by calling tstyle manager we're able to set the style so a single line of code just to set the style to be the style name that we have chosen. Uh, we're then able to just update the, uh, the selected style. So let's go and run this again now. And we can now see we have a list of styles. If we go ahead and change this, we can see that uh, this is now changing the scroll bars and uh, the, the controls, the edit controls, and completely how they look. Uh, let's go ahead and switch this maybe to be Cyan Knight and something else. And you can see all elements, including the maximize, minimize, and close, are all changing. Now there's a number of preset styles that ship with Rad Studio, but you can also, under Tools, use the Bitmap Style Designer, and in here you can create a new VCL style, um, modern VCL style, modern dark VCL style, uh, and start working with those um, and coming in and being able to change the elements in here to give yourself a whole new look and style. And if you want to take one that's already existing, you can load it up from the redistribution folder and then export the image, change that in Photoshop, bring it back in. That's a really quick way to be able to give yourself a whole brand new style as well based on a previous look and feel. Now, if you do create your own style, I'm just going to go find the declaration here. Um, the T-Style Manager also has a number of methods for loading from file, um, loading from resource, so you can actually just create a new file style and load that directly into the system uh, using tstyle file dot load from file. Now that concludes our quick introduction to VCL styles. I hope you found that very interesting and look forward to seeing your great looking VCL applications in the future.